Uh, hi guys, this is um, my latest project, a Kodan uh, 7727 sideband transceiver from 1979. It's been uh, retrofitted with a uh, DDS uh, board. You've got the display here for the board. And it's got a um, the, uh, the main dial there, upper and lower sideman, clarifier fitted. And what used to be crystal positions are now band positions. Um, and the volume and there's a mute control back in there and a noise limiter over here. One of the uh, fe advanced features is it has a uh, KDAN cell call and it has um, and a feature called hop, uh, which is why some people call this the uh, uh, um, Skippy the Bush KDAN. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a fairly compact little radio. Um, Designed for uh, use in land mobile out in, out in the bush, in the Australian bush, and uh, they're, they're obsolete now, but they have some very nice um, features. Um, chief among them is a, um, a 1650 um, uh, IF and associated crystal filter by HiQ, which is a magnificent filter and uh, produces a, a lovely sound, it really does. Okay, um, well, it'd be nice if there was a signal there, but see what we got. Nope. Alright, well, what I might do is um, show you uh, what it looks like inside. and just whip the covers off and you have a look. As you can see, it's a very compact radio. Uh, this is the top and these are the uh, fixed um, channel uh, frequency um, uh, tuning coils associated with each crystal in the originally, but now associated with each band. Uh, I think that's the uh, uh, 30 metre, 40 metre, uh, 80, 80 and 160, something like that. <laughs> uh, and 20 metres in there as well. Uh, uh, yes, as you can see, that that's the whole transceiver pretty much. And there's the uh, the filter I was talking about. It's, it's quite large. Um, if you compare it to the size of my hand, you can see it. It's, it's a substantial uh, filter and... Uh, so say, a lot of the audio quality comes from, from the, that fact. It's a mainly transistor diode switched um, arrangement. Um, in the design, it's got a, a few uh, ICs in it, not many. There's a, um, a audio amplifier IC, there's a IF amplifier um, IC, and that's about it, I think. All the rest of it's um, discrete transistor. Um, you can see these blue pots here. These are the, the ones I use to uh, uh, generate a voltage so that the the micro and the DDS knows uh, which band I'm on. Originally there were there were uh, uh, six uh, crystals here, uh, along here. But uh, I inject uh, the DDS in here, and there you can see the injection point. And um, yeah, that's the uh, 1650... Um, BFO uh, crystal down there, and uh, that's the uh, the mute board up there. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see the underside. All right. This is what he looks like upside down. Uh, in the middle here, you can see the the DDS board um, with the wiring to it that goes to the display. There's a little nano there, um, and there's a, a a DDS board, all Chinese stuff. This guy here is uh, Skippy. This is the bit that does the cell call and the frequency hopping. These guys here are uh, filters. There's one, two, three, four filters in there, uh, which are selected by the, the main shaft, the, um, uh, the band shaft or the crystal selection. And up here, obviously enough, is the, the PA, the uh, final transistors and the... Um, uh, output transformer, there's the um, SWR sensor protector gizmo up there. Uh, and that's about it. Main main DC relay, some DC supply, and there's another little auxiliary switch that I've fitted so that I can adjust the cell call numbers. Um, yeah, so that's physically what he looks like. Um, see if I can zoom in a bit here. That is um, the DDS board, as I say, with the Nano. And over here is the, uh, the Skippy board.
a little uh, beeper to tell us what the micro is up to. Uh, that's basically it. All right. Well, I'll put up another video later on, maybe to show you the uh, the skip function uh, actually working. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.